What up guys, my name is Efrain Leon, this is my detailing company, and today I'm going to be showing you how I fit all of my equipment and how we use it. This is all of our detailing equipment. I'll be showcasing each one individually and explaining what it is, what it does, and how we use it. Let's get started. First off, we have our power generator that we got at Harbor Freight. It's the Predator 3500. It's super quiet and it runs for a long time. It requires all changes and some maintenance, but nothing anyone can't do. This takes ethanol free gas or regular gas with some stabilizer. This gives us power for all our machines and it can take about two to three machines at one time. At the top here, it'll show you the amount of gas it has left and where you can pour it as well it gives you some instructions on what it takes and whatnot the back here is the exhaust we always space it away from the customer's house or from our working area to avoid breathing problems second is our rigid air compressor we got this one at home depot it's four and a half gallons and psi of 200 we usually use about 90 psi which the knob in the middle allows us to do and the left screen shows us and it has two connections we usually only need one. It requires no maintenance at all, and it's one of our best tools. This, combined with the tornador, which we'll look later in the video, makes cleaning so much more efficient. It's supposed to be quiet, but it can get a tiny bit loud. Other than that, though, this tool gives us the advantage of getting a lot of gunk and crumbs from places no one can reach. Here we have the air hose reel for the air compressor. It's retractable, so it makes cleanup time very quick, and it's really a time saver. Next is our extractor. It's the Mighty S300 Temple Heated Extractor from Detail Kings. It is on the pricier side, but man, the efficiency it has is amazing. It sprays water with a PSI of 55 and heats the water up to 210 degrees Fahrenheit. We have a process to cleaning fabrics, but it all depends on the type of stain and how big it is to determine exactly how we'll attack it. Here's our 1,500 watt steamer, which we got at Harbor Freight as well. Heats up to 212 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's pretty close to the extractor. This works wonders with many, many types of stains, but it really helps us get rid of sticky substances such as gum and candy off surfaces. We use this to disinfect the vehicle as well. The rigid vacuum from Home Depot is top notch for us. It has great power, and with that thin extension you see on the right, it picks up nearly everything that's loose on the surface. We took the wheels off of our vacuum so it can fit right in with our setup. We had gotten this before realizing the smaller one would fit better, but oh well, this works just fine. Next is my favorite, the Active 2.0, 1800 PSI and 2.0 GPM pressure washer. This is by far the best pressure washer I've had. It has the perfect amount of pressure and water flow to get the exterior washes done right. The nozzle tips that come with it are very good quality and we use the white one which sprays the widest on our pressure washer gun. The compact size is the advantage here for our setup. This is our pressure washer reel. It's retractable and we got it at Harbor Freight. I had another one that I threw out because it wasn't retractable. Didn't make the cleanup any better and it did get damaged. Um, we have some quick connects to this one. We don't have it mounted at all anywhere since we're moving it back and forth. But the quick connects really help out a lot. Other than that, it works really, really well, and again, it makes the cleanup better. Here we have some extension cords that I've been using for some time now. These are great if I ever need to park a little further from the customer's vehicle, or sometimes, for example, the one on the right, the yellow one, it has multiple connections, so we can uh, use multiple machines at one time because the generator has the two ports very close, so it makes it easier. These also are part of our pressure washer system. And I added a white connection to the green ones. The small one connects to the pressure washer while the other one gets water out to the buckets and the white is just an extra one. This Milwaukee blower with short nozzle extension is used for the drying process. This gets into all the cracks like side mirrors, handles, and wheels. This short nozzle has a soft tip to avoid damaging or scratching the paint as we go. It is loud so we use ear protection. We also use this for ceramic coated cars that need maintenance washes. The water beats right off and we don't need a towel or necessarily we don't need one but we do have small ones to cover any spots we miss to leave the car completely dry this portable table works great for the floor mats we don't like putting them on the floor and getting them dirty 
and we also don't like kneeling down all the time. So we place them on the top, we pressure wash them, clean them, everything there and let them dry so we can get the best results. This is the gasoline tank we use for our power generator. Carry it just in case we need more gas. This is our ozone generator. It gets rid of all the terrible smells inside of the car, such as smoke and any other bad smell you can think of. It eliminates it completely. We leave it inside of the car for about 15 to 30 minutes and we leave everything closed. After we're done, we have to leave the doors open or at least the windows open for a couple minutes to let it air out and then the car is gonna be smelling fresh again. So this is our toolbox. It comes with a drill, which is not here. We keep it in another storage bin you'll see later in the video to help with the agitation process and we don't have to do it by hand. It speeds things up by a lot. And it comes with a lot of other tools we use on maintenance for our other equipment. These buckets are the perfect size and we add a dirt trapped grid at the bottom to ensure our two bucket method cleaning is efficient. We fill one bucket with water and the other with soap. This helps clean the soapy water clean. The dirt traps help us agitate that mitt and get rid of as much dirt from it as we can. Before that though, we get one bucket with our wheel and tire brushes to of course clean the wheels. Then we dump it out, rinse the bucket, and we're ready for a hand wash. Usually we store a lot of other things inside so we can fit it in the truck. Now for the biggest and heaviest thing in our truck, our 35 gallon water tank. I added some connections at the bottom to connect the hoses and make the pressure washer setup easier to manage. 35 gallons is enough to get it two to three cars as we try not to use or waste too much water although for other services it requires us to use a good amount of it and to fit it in the truck we just take the cap off so at the top here we have some measuring cups to get the perfect dilutions on our foam cannon and when we refill our chemicals on the top step we have our mjgc foam cannon we added a new filter and changed the orifice to get maximum suds this allows the dirt from vehicles to fall right off and reduces our chances of scratching the paint. Then there's our blue pressure washer gun with a yellow tip extension that has a lot of power. We usually use our long wand to reach the undercarriage on the wheels and the top of the vehicles. But sometimes that yellow tip right there is good enough to have it lightweight. On the next step, we have some guards that we put on the corners of the wheels to allow our water hose to move freely and not get stuck. Then finally, on the last step, we have our extension for the underbody rinse and the tornador that, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, and of course, the ladder to get on top and reach the larger vehicles. And now to fit all of that detailing equipment inside of the truck, let's take a look inside. So at first glance, it does seem pretty deep, but this is a five and a half foot bed. So let's see how it goes. All right, guys, you just saw it. Whoa, that's too close. <laughs> All right, we just showed you everything in the bed. Now let's see what's inside. Hmm. At first glance, there's nothing. We just took everything off. But here we have some compartments on the bottom. We keep all our brushes and a couple other tools to help us get into the nooks and crannies. Anything that will help us get better results. Up top, or actually, I should say in the back, we have our interior towels and some uh, interior applicators. And let's show you the other side. And then on the other side, on the bottom, we have a compartment. We just keep um, starter cables and stuff for the truck. So nothing we actually use for detailing. We have bags in case we need to throw out some trash the owners left in the car or any personal belongings they couldn't catch. 
and on the back seat we have all our exterior towels right now there some of them need to be washed but as you can see we have our windows um some for the washing process and some for touch-ups and window or sorry for engines and wheels and in the front we get on the glove compartment we have all our invoices some cards some pamphlets some flyers that we need to give out to people when they show up while we're detailing a lot of people come and ask us about it or they just scan our code <sighs> okay so on the back seats we usually carry a smaller vacuum anything for touch-ups towards the end of the detailing or for you know quick details or maintenance vehicles as well this helps us a lot so we don't have to use too many connections this this little container here we have a lot of tools we have extensions and a lot of things that we need so lights steamer connections um, pressure washer connections all that good stuff that we don't want to get damaged so just keeping it thrown everywhere so keeps it nice and organized this is just for my truck for the windshield cover we have some thank you mats towards the end so we don't also get it dirty when we're done with that any touch-ups we need to do and finally our bag for towels we usually take these out after and we wash them they got pretty full so we need to do that okay here's a top view to show you guys from a different angle how everything looks This is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe to help the channel out. And if you have any questions, concerns, or tips, leave them in the comment section down below. See you in the next one.